Hey guys, Kyle is real here. So I wanted to just BS about streaming and just what I've learned over two years. I figured I would just kind of go right into it. Maybe I probably won't do any editing into this, but just me just talking about two years of streaming and what I have experienced and what I've learned over the course of the two years that I've been doing this. Um, I think we'll start with one thing that I learned. In the very beginning, I uh, started from scratch, right? I didn't know anyone that streamed. I had no idea. The only people I knew were the people that inspired me, right? So in the very beginning, it was people like, you know, ID Cutie and stuff like that for a big influence, him and Harblue, right? Those are the people that I knew. Because I, I used to watch uh, Overwatch on my shitty laptop when I was a kid. Or a kid, excuse me. I, I want to say I was a kid because I, I was like 21 at the time. That was like seven years ago. So I used to watch these guys, and because I played on, you know, console, I was very limited to, um, to the, you know, being able to play the game. Um, I didn't get a chance to play on, you know, PC during the golden age of Overwatch, right? So, but it inspired me to still want to stream. So when I finally got a computer and stuff like that, I was able to kind of, like, get going on that even though i did stream on console but nobody nobody gave a shit how good you were on console like no nobody cared right so uh one of my videos did blow up and insane gm roadhog carry on console right like that that was the one that blew me up so because that video blew up it made me think that i could go stream so because i saw the potential and the success of that video i ended up going and streaming on uh, twitch right and i streamed a little bit and it it really didn't go very f anywhere really right so then i get i work a job i get my first pc and i practice for like a year and i learn how to play keyboard and mouse and then i start streaming and we did decent right like first couple months were really slow and sluggish it was really quiet there was a couple viewers there was jim and then there was owl and stuff like that you know some friends and stuff you know we average like three four viewers you know decent for the first few months my friend shadow recommends i play resident evil and i was like yeah all right sure why not you know i could do some variety this is like 2021 right so this is like around i want to say late june i think it was the end of june and i played re right and uh you know it's a really good game by the way i've never played resident evil games right like i've never actually played any so playing through the entire series was really fun and I played through RE1, you know, remake, the, the, uh, PS2, the, was it PS2, no, GameCube, it was the GameCube 2002 one, they did a remaster on PC, so I played that, and I ended up coming across a really cool guy named Graphics, and, you know, we, we had a good time, Graphics was a really good guy, I miss him, I don't, I don't know where he went, kind of disappeared, but he was a really amazing person, as along with a lot of my viewers and stuff like that we started getting regulars we played through practically every resident evil game uh, eventually we went on to do that and uh i think res playing resident evil made me realize that i was like you know streaming it might go somewhere you know we became affiliate on twitch we finally hit you know 50 followers but those few first few months it was like a horror show like it was just horrendously slow you know, we started playing some variety, started playing other stuff, but we always had Overwatch as our main game, right? We always had one main game. So I mainly played Overwatch. And we kept kind of rotating, doing horror games, like once a, once a, maybe every weekend we'd do it. And then, you know, we kind of played Overwatch here and there, and then I'd get burnt out, and then I'd play other games, and then we'd go back to Overwatch, and then we'd get burnt out, and we'd rinse, repeat, rinse, repeat, rinse, repeat, right? And, uh streaming kind of like slowly would you know, we'd have ups and we'd have downs we had have ups we have downs you know nothing really crazy and you know i'm very fortunate that i had such an amazing community like i have a really great local uh regulars excuse me and i don't change that you know i don't want to say that oh well you know not successful or anything it's like no we did find some success you know we really worked really hard at it, and I really tried, you know, streaming for two years, and I just wanted to tell you guys, you know, you're going to have really big ups, and you're going to have really big downs, and, you know, you could put your heart and soul into it, and you could stream hundreds and hundreds of games. Like, I played over 150 games. I even played, like, absurd stuff. You know, I, I did everything I could. I tried, and I just today I felt like talking and speaking my mind, you know. I'm 
a little sad right now because I, I've just played so many games. And I've been, I left Twitch, you know, I was done. You know, Twitch wanted to take everything. So there's just nothing to be made there. And Kick, you know, they have no ads, you know, and YouTube has no ads. Every time I get on Twitch, I just get 10 minute ads. Every time I try to watch a stream, 10 minute ad, 10 minute ad. So I was done. And, you know, I think now that I've moved to Kick and YouTube, I love streaming there more, but I don't have the content like I did. So, one thing I would give advice to new streamers and anyone that watches this video is uh, you'll come to a time, uh, a time where you have streamed hundreds of games and you're just out of games to play. And you're just going to rehash games that you've already played. And then because pe because I moved to new platforms, people are asking that. But I've already played all these games. And I've reached a point where I don't know what to play anymore. You know, Overwatch 2 is a failure, right? And that was the main game. That was the main focus. And that game's like a failure. That game's horrible. You know, and I, I don't know what to do right now. And I'm kind of sad because I'm, I tried so hard for so long. Like two years is a, is a decent amount of time. And, and when you stream eight hours almost every single day and you put your heart and soul I remember my first year, dude, I was doing 15, 16 hour streams because I wanted it so bad. And, you know, I, we did good. You know, I got John, you know, I got Al Bino, and I got, you know, I had graphics. I had some really amazing people that really believed in what I did and have done. And now I'm, I'm out of content and, you know, it, life is getting harder and harder. You know, when you get older, it gets harder. You know, I'm, I'm going to be 30 soon and you know it's it's getting difficult because it's not enough to sustain it's not twitch isn't enough to sustain it's a hobby and it's it's been my dream to play games since i was five six years old and i've really tried and, and i'm getting to the point now where i feel like i can't do it anymore like i just can't no like you know the people that are supporting me it's just not enough you know, uh, the, the way the world is right now is it's getting harder and harder. So I just wanted to tell, you know, new people and in, in my community and, and everybody that I, I don't know if I can keep doing this. Like I, I'm going to try as much as I can. And I'm really trying to push, you know, five days a week, but I don't know if I can make that happen because there's just nothing to play. And I'm, I'm fresh out of ideas and I haven't been doing too good mentally and, and health, like mental health wise. And when you edit all your videos and you do everything yourself and you just don't get attraction and people just don't like your content, you're, you're kind of screwed. So for all the new guys and stuff like that, I mean, if you're going to stream, dude, I like, you, just, you know, good luck, man. Like all the more power to you guys. I'm just, I just want to let you guys all know that it's not easy um, it's hard, and when you've put out as much content I've, I have, when you've put out a thousand videos, almost nearly a thousand videos, and nobody watches, and, and you know, you don't get, you get nothing out of it, and not to knock, you know, because the, the people that have supported me, I thank you guys, and I really tried the best I could to deliver, you know, I played over 140 some games, maybe even 150 now, I, I've, I tried my hardest and I did the best I could. I I don't want to quit, but I don't know. Things are not looking great right now. And, you know, maybe in another video I'll talk about my feelings about Overwatch, but we're, we're in a tough spot right now. So I, I want to say thank you, John, Al, Graphics, everybody that's donated, Cecil, Beast, Caden, you know, all you guys, I appreciate all the support you guys have given me, and I want to say thank you uh, to the bottom of my heart, you know, uh, thank you guys for literally everything, I'm going to try to keep going as long as I can, but it's getting harder, you know, we're not getting followers, we're not going, we're not going anywhere, and I'm, I'm getting burnt out, and I'm getting kind of sad, because IRL is really hard lately, and I'm trying to keep my head up each day, you know, doing the best I can, and, uh, 
yeah, um, I'm not gonna, I'm not, gonna, I'm gonna try not to quit, but whew, I would be lying if things aren't looking grim. So, um, I think the best advice I can give someone that's new is, you know, you will run out of content. You will eventually. If if you want it as bad as I wanted it, and I still want it, you will run out of content. It will happen. Even if you have a main game, you're gonna get burnt out of that main game, and then you're gonna run through a hundred and plus fucking games, and you're just gonna you're just gonna get drilled with burnout. So I wish you guys the best, and everyone, um, sh you know, shout outs to Graphics Albino and uh, John. Thank you guys for the love and support and and generosity. I greatly appreciate it, and you know, uh, I'm gonna keep trying. So take care everybody uh, I try to do the I try to do this without trying to edit too much because I don't believe in over editing I just don't I think it means you're just not a real person and you're just not trying to give your honest thoughts because then lying to people is not my motto I don't like lying I like being straight and honest so take care everybody have a good one and uh, I'll see y'all next time thanks for the love guys and uh, peace everybody